Hi, everybody. So today's conversation comes courtesy of uh, a conversation we had uh, at breakfast today. This came up in, in our house over breakfast. And that is what responsibility do artists have to their community? And at what point do we separate artists from their art if we disagree with what the artists have to say personally. That's a kind of dancing around the issue because it's not really, we decided it wasn't about politics, um, but it was the personal choices that artists make and um, because it's not, it's not necessarily political, um, but it, it could be. But what, what do you owe your audience if you're an artist? Um, or, you know, let's replace artist with content creator, um, which is a type of art, in my opinion. And, and when do you step away from art if you disagree with the artist? Um, a lot of that happening right now. Uh, the, the whole idea of cancel culture did not come up in our conversation um, so much as it, it was uh, if you... If you like something but you disagree with the artist, is it okay to keep to to enjoy their art? And we, we talked about a few different things. So, I mean, it came up in the context of FNAF. For, so, for those of you who don't know Five Nights at Freddy's, um, it's been around for been around since we looked it up, uh, 2014. Um, and the my my youngest is very active in the LGBTQ community and he was saying how disappointed he was that the creator of FNAF uh, did not support and was actively actively financially supporting anti-LGBTQ groups um, and how disappointed he was because so much of his audience uh, and so much of his fan base falls into the LGBTQ community. And my question was, well, is it his responsibility to, to know that? Was he, and, and is it, does he have to abandon the content because he disagrees with the personal opinions of the creator of the content? So it, it led to a very interesting conversation, like two and a half hours worth of conversation, uh, which is great because I, I love that kind of that kind of thing and intellectual arguments and discussions. Um, but we talked about um, Harry Potter and we talked about uh, R. Kelly and we talked about Bill Cosby. Um, we talked about all of these, you know, are artists necessarily, you know, illegal and criminal acts aside, um, if, if I write content and I'm, I'm not lying about it, like if I'm not courting one group just to court that group, but if somebody else from uh, a group of people who, who disagree with my personal philosophies, am I responsible for whether or not they like it and whether or not I, I insult them in the making of, of what I do or just in going about my other projects? And I don't really know where I fall on this. Uh, I have definitely uh, liked the work of people who have turned out later to be, you know, not good people. Um, we we discussed it, and you know, my husband and I, growing up with Bill Cosby, you know, I loved Cosby when I was a kid. Um, does that change how I feel about does does his current situation change how I feel about what I loved growing up? Um, and there's no, there's no black and white there, um, at least not for me, but I'm sure there is for some people. Uh, we talked about um, musical, some recent musical artists who have, have uh, <laughs> recently passed and, and what their personal views were and that that didn't come out at least not to, to us, until after they had passed, and did that change how we felt about them? 
Um, did it change how we felt about their music or whether or not we wanted to listen to their music? Um, and I think there's also a difference between if you actively put yourself out there with those opinions, as opposed to if you just quietly live those opinions separate of your art or they come out through your art. I think there's also a difference between uh, being an activist artist, which I support, and and being more of a, I'm in love with the media and the medium that I choose type of artist who you're just putting what you put out there is a reflection of your love of the art um, and your lived experience, not necessarily pushing that toward activism. And I know I'm kind of choosing my words carefully in this um, because I don't think there is uh, a specifically right or wrong answer. I think you have to look at, um, there's a lot that goes into it. There's a, a lot that goes into the complexity of making art and being an artist. And uh, some of that is a clear reflection of, of our immediate society. And some of it is very far removed from us now because, you know, shoot hundreds of years, some art's removed from us now. Um, but do we dis, do we remove, uh, do we remove those those arts from our, you know, the collective conscious uh, because the artist is deemed unworthy by modern standards. And we've been going through the, a lot of that as a society lately in, in the United States. And it's complex and there are no easy answers, but I'd be really interested, and I may be opening a can of, wor can of worms here that I might not necessarily want to deal with, but I find it very interesting. Um, what people's opinions are on that, especially if as, as artists, but we all consume art. We are all consumers of art, music, TV, movies, media, um, advertising as art, which it is a type of art. Um, there isn't, there isn't a part of any individual's life that is not somehow touched by art. We all listen to music. We all see print ads. We all see pictures, even if you don't have a television. Uh, I mean, if you're watching this, then you have access to a screen of some kind. Um, so we are all consumers of art and how that affects our lives. And some people don't think twice about it. Some people like, I don't care. I like what I like, and I'm, I don't care who the artist is. Um, and some people are very much the other way. It's like, I am going to only follow the artists that, that I agree with personally. And then you have every opinion in between. So this ended up being a little longer than I anticipated. Uh, but I do feel very deeply about it because it is it does touch, you know, I, our whole family. We're all artists. So, um, of course, it, it matters deeply to me what, uh, how people fall in, on that and what people's opinions are. Not that it would necessarily change anything that I would do. But it is interesting uh, to understand how people feel about it. So um, feel free to, to leave a comment and start the conversation or, or uh, let's, let's start a conversation. Let's, let's have the conversation because it, it matters for, it matters for how art gets made and who sees that art and the role of art, um, any art uh, in our society. So otherwise have a fantastic day and uh, get yourself a cup of hot chocolate. It's cold outside. <laughs>